shining right now. Celtics got to go if they want to get their two for one in. Free Ryan! Here he goes. He was flying. JB taking over. Welcome to Celtics post game live. Jen Rosati, Ashley Battle, Mina Smith here with you. Celtics defeating the Detroit Pistons 119 to 94. No Jason Tatum, no Al Horford, no Drew Holiday, and still Jen, they get the win. What was your biggest takeaway after this game? Well, just the unselfish basketball that the Celtics know how to play. You know, next man up mentality. It's not an easy thing at this time of the year to be wanting to play your best basketball heading into playoffs, but also find that balance of keeping your players healthy and with 30 assists on the game, it's it's obvious that the Celtics understand their roles. They understand when it's their turn. Um, and I got to give a shout out to the little guy. I mean, Pritchard. Oh, Nobody yeah. talks about him, but he had 23 uh -huh. points and seven assists. Of course, you know the little point guard is going to talk about the little oh, point yeah. guard, right? Absolutely. <laughs> she loves little people because if you guys okay. didn't know, Jen's she's a little, she's a little short. She's a little short. <laughs> take away from this game, Ashley. <laughs> She's a little short. I think it's, you know, one thing that has to be said, too, is that we're still fighting for the overall number one seed in the in the entire NBA. So even though, you know, people say, oh, it's just Detroit. It's just Detroit. But this is an important game. Yep. Like, these games coming up down the stretch are all very important to, for seedings going into the playoffs. And it's just a testament to what Jen said, the next man up. You have to be ready. You have to be prepared. You have to be mentally tough because these games are going to be hard and Detroit plays hard. Mm. They're a team that has had some difficult times, you know, just they play they play really well throughout the game, and then yeah. at the end, they just haven't figured out a way to close, but they have really good players. Yeah. You talk about it just being Detroit, I think back to December 28th when they took the Celtics into overtime, overtime. and it, oh, it took that for the Celtics to win the game, so you can't overlook a team like the Pistons. All right, let's send it down to Kayla, who caught up with Derek White after the win. Derek, huge congratulations on your first triple-double here in your career. Ah! I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not very subtle. You too far, Luke. You too far. <laughs> I should have seen him. You didn't even warn me. I, I tried to get out of there, get his face. Hey, well-deserved, though. Your first triple-double. I mean, just take me through. You talked to your dad. You sent him the text, let it fly. You've been letting it fly ever since, and now you get such a reward, uh, well-deserved tonight. How does it feel? It feels good. I mean, I got amazing teammates uh, that make it really easy for me, so uh, a lot of credit goes to them. So many different players stepped up here tonight. Chris Stapps even back here at, for the first time in five games. How much does he impact this game? He's unreal. Um, just his gravity, um, the things he can do on the court, can shoot it from, from anywhere in the building, and uh, down low, you got to send a double, triple. So uh, it's great to have him back. Uh, it's good to get his legs back in and have him back. Do you guys have a special handshake on the side there, by the way? Our broadcast called it out. We needed to know the inside scoop if y'all do. Oh, me and KP? Yeah. No, nah, not, not so secret. <laughs> Good to know. And then just lastly, Coach talked about how many different guys have been able to not only step up, but really capitalizing on the extended minutes. We've seen it from Pritchard. We've seen it from O'Shea all the way down to Springer. What does it say, not only about the depth about this team, but how unselfish we, you guys play throughout the stretch? Yeah, top to bottom. Doesn't matter who we have at, out there. Uh, we know we're going to get the same thing. Um, credit to all those guys, man. They, they work their tail off day in, day out, uh, behind the scenes. and. Uh, it's good to see them reward with some playing time and playing well. Congratulations. Go celebrate this. Appreciate it. Abby, Dijanae, and Zora joining us live right now. And Derek White doing it all out there for the Celtics. Scoring, rebounding, playmaking. Dijanae, I'll start with you. Just where was Derek White's biggest impact in tonight's win? I mean, we saw the three-point shooting, but I was locked into the way he was facilitating. He got the ball to all the right people. I know he leads this team in assists, but he had an amazing night just getting the ball to the people in the right places to score. All I know is I, I'm a little upset. We don't get many Gatorade showers. The Celtics very reserved when it comes to those. Kayla, first time on the sidelines, did an amazing job, but she got the Gatorade shower there. <laughs> Derek White, take over, Zora. This was your first real Derek White experience. What'd you think? Yeah, well, I've seen him get hot from the outside before watching these Celtics games, but the way that he let the game come to him, you know, it started in the first half with all those threes, but then you started to see the assists 
dialing up towards the end of that second half and what a performance by Derek White and to be able to do it at home um, and I know you talked about his family being able to watch it just has to be a remarkable moment for that young man Peyton Pritchard also I mean the way that this right. team was sharing the basketball that's what really stood out to me um, on a time when it was a lot of different lineups on the court maybe guys that don't get to play together a lot and then still finding each other in their spots there were a number of rotations in this game guys on the floor that had never played together and you're right the ball movement does not stop with this group the threes don't stop raining threes this was Celtics basketball and it was we saw it from everybody up and down the line so it was good to see I mean <laughs> Yes, and the Celtics 19 and 2 when they have 30 or more assists. Zora, just how unselfish did this team look in the win? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what really, like, there were times where players could have taken shots, and they, I know a lot of coaches talk about this from going from good to great, and the Celtics displayed that tonight multiple times, and then they did it with some flair. I'm not going to get over the multiple behind the back dimes by Peyton Spicy. Pritchard, and then Derek White, like, to be able to get double-digit assists, you have to understand the spots that your teammates like to be in, and it was so great to see everybody get involved. We're talking about the Springers, the Tillmans of the world. Um, it was just a true team effort, and we We've gotten through this entire hit, and we haven't even mentioned Jalen Browdy and a quiet 31 points, if, if that's even there to say. And he showed off what tonight, Dijanae? A lot of the what? That left hand. I don't want to hear no more Jalen Brown talk about no left hand. Dijanae, but watching this Celtics offense, what stands out to you? And just how dominant they are? One thing that we talked about is that they know where to find their players, and they'll keep going to it. They're not going to stop. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and that's what the Celtics are really, really good at. But apart from that, I mean, you might not have seen it all night today, but they typically have five players out there who can all spread the floor. So if you can't stay in front of somebody one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to exploit that spray, 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 like you said, good to great, or they're going to get a finish at the rim if you don't come over and help. No more slander for that Jalen Brown left hand. I don't want to hear anything else about Jalen Brown and that left hand moving forward. All right, thanks so much, ladies.